boat up and uh, we're gonna go fish some flood water see if we can catch some catfish. Let's go fishing. All right guys, so I'll tell you something pretty cool. So walking down here to the boat, just got in, dropped the boat in. I was out here fishing yesterday, which was the day after they did the massive water release from Lake Norman, uh, largest water release in the lake's history. The water down here was horrible. Uh, as dirt filled, red as it could be, debris all in it. They've been pulling water 24 hours a day, obviously trying to get Norman down. It's absolutely amazing. I'm gonna say clear, but how much better the water looks today. It's really crazy how much clearer relatively speaking it is than it was yesterday it's one of the casualties of the uh, flooding looks like somebody's boathouse see this mud line is so well defined that it almost looks like you're driving into a dirt field here's something really crazy up here this is gonna look like a bridge that's got some little islands around it but these are some massive grass mats from many miles up river that have broken loose and made their way down here to the bridge and have got wrapped up on it. It's pretty crazy. I know there's a lot of people looking for an easy bait to use, uh, something that you can get conveniently without having to go catch bait, having to go throw a cast net, all that kind of stuff, and I understand that. Uh, I've been wanting to try this with the chicken to see how it works. I know some other people use it. Uh, Joe Jellison, Chat Cats, who has a channel here on YouTube, I know he uses it out in uh, uh, Tennessee on Chickamauga in that area. And uh, one of my mentors, Mike Byroom, who also has a channel here on YouTube, uh, one of the old timers, uh, he uses it now. He marinates his in garlic powder. Puts a little twist on it, uh, a little, uh, uh, a little bit of an Italian. I guess it's for the Italian fish or something. But uh, yeah, it, it, you can do all kinds of concoctions and stuff. I don't know that any of it makes really a difference. I think if the fish are going to hit it, they're going to hit it. But uh, like a lot of things, if you feel good doing it. Uh, and you're catching fish, it don't really matter. Just do it. If you want to marinate it in something, uh, soak it in jello, whatever. Uh, if you're having fun and catching fish, that's what matters. I just had a monster bite on this, and I don't know if it stayed hooked up or not. It went slack. Yes, it's there. It's there. It is there. Yes. Still hooked up. It's a good fish. That's a good bite. Good bite. Fish is kind of going where he wants to go. I do not think this fish knows there's a boat here yet. Up oh, there he is. He came straight to the top. Now he knows there's a boat. I'm trying to give him some line. There he goes. Ah, it's good right there. Good fish. Not a monster, but we'll take it. It's like a big female. A mad female. A mad female. Hey, see. Simmer down. Simmer down. So. Ah, my bogus twisted. Got him. The female, I'm starting to catch these things. It's a good one. Good looking fish. It's about, eh, about 12 pounds. It's our median fish here in this lake. Good looking fish. Flood water's on chicken breast. Let's get it back alive. Tell you what I'm hooked up with here. Just a sand tea rig. Got a uh, sinker from uh, Dale's Tackle. Snap swivel, 30 pound. Andy Monster, Andy Clear Mono, 50 pounds, a homemade rattle, and a hooker's terminal tackle, circle hook, and then some chicken. Man, I got one going, boom, there he goes, 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 look at him go, look at him go, got one go, Wad. look at him go, oh yeah, 
Oh, oh, oh. Got him in some current too. They're stroking it. It's a good bite. That was a real good bite. Got some water moving. I seen the rod go first. I said, ah, oh, piece of debris got it. But what's cool is this is probably only an eight or 10 pound fish. It's just uh, a lot of current right here where I'm at. I came further up the river uh, just to see what it looked like. And there's a lot of current up here. Perfect, perfect, it's perfect current for these medium action big cat fever rods. You get a workout. Get some rod bend, got some flexibility, but the back end, handle whatever you give it. It's a good fish. Very good fish. That's a tainer. A 13 pound fish, 14 maybe. He's a, oh yeah, got it. Good looking blue. Good looking female. Getting healthy. Good fish right there, guys. It's a good fish. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. Floodwater blue cat. On some chicken. Good fish. Let's get it back alive. So what are some tips for uh, fishing these uh, flooded rivers and lakes? Well, one thing, be aware of your surroundings. Uh, if you've got a lot of swift water, uh, you need to probably consider staying at home uh, or at least wear a life jacket, have a flow plan, let people know where you're at. Uh, usually, honestly, when it's really swift, you know, really just turbulent water, it's not going to be that good of fishing anyway, so you're better off staying home. What I'm fishing is rising water, we got current, it's nothing crazy, uh, it's nothing out of control, so it's a little different scenario here. But when it's really, really bad, first piece of advice, stay home. If you got really, really swift current, it's just not worth going out. Uh, the second thing is going to be to find some breaks in the current, some of these eddy currents. Uh, not all of the water moves through the river or down the lake at the same speed uh, and in the same pattern. Some places move faster than others and there's a lot of dynamics that come into play. Deeper river channels, bends, points, all of that affects what happens with the water. The best thing you can do is look at what is going on with the stuff on top of the water, whether it be debris, bubbles, that kind of stuff. That gives you a lot of clue as to exactly what's going on uh, and where stuff's going slower. I was in a place yesterday, anchored up, water was barely moving. I could look two or three hundred yards out toward where the deeper river channel was and water was stroking through there, probably two, three miles an hour. So uh, it can happen. Pay attention to what's going on with your currents. Find those breaks because that's where these fish are going to be staged up at to get out of this current to get a break from it. Gosh, I got a bad feeling when I got one camera angle on that last fish. But we got another one going. And I know we got the other camera going now. Uh, yeah, I don't know how much footage I'm going to have of that last one. But it was about 14 pounds. Slammed it. I just realized chesty cam wasn't running. That ain't good. Gotta have chesty cam. This is a good fish too. These uh, medium action rods are perfect in this kind of current. A little bit of work. It's a lot of fun. That right there is what great equalizer to back in on these things. Tips are good. Good and flexible. Very forgiving. Dang. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Might be a little bit wrapped. This current's moving through here. It's uh, two or three miles an hour. Faster than we normally get. They're moving a lot of water through here. This one's coming a little bit sideways. Nowhere near as big a fish as the last one. Feels heavy though. Uh, get that boga went all chicken today guys all chicken and this spot is producing another nice fish oh he's all kinds of there's a good chance of losing this fish right here guys there's no leader to grab onto it's all wrapped up on it Lucky. 
Yeah, that's one thing when you get these fish close to the boat. You gotta get a hold of that leader. And there was no leader, we're kind of wrapped up on his fin. We got him. Decent. Decent fish, no monster. Not as big as that last one. I don't think I got a good shot of the last one, sadly. I'm gonna have another rod going right there. I think this one has a fish. Yep, it's a small fish. I noticed it a minute ago going off. Get this one out of the stick. Get out of the stick. Get out of the stick. There we go. It's a small one. He was on when I was releasing that other fish. This is three fish very quickly right here it's a little channel cap make sure he's hooked good i can lift him in here yep little channel up in here feeding he's a he's a they are eating the chicken chicken cats Boom. let's get another one oh let's see something popping on this like it's a channel cat. Yep, little fish. Feels like a channel. Here's the thing. We're catching fish with this chicken. It works. They ain't monsters. I don't know how good we'd be doing if we had gizzard shad. That rattle is loud. That is one of the, uh, roll out, roll out, roll, roll. Open your mouth, it makes it real easy. Bam. Nice little channel cap. Give me another tip. Don't go fishing at night. I know a lot of guys like to fish for catfish at night, and uh, it can be a good break from the weather, uh, boaters and all that kind of stuff. But listen, it's bad enough being on the water uh, during flood stage with debris and everything else uh, and doing it at night when you can't see just makes it that much worse so uh, if you're gonna fish in flood waters do it during the daylight one more tip on finding fish in flooded water is uh, you may want to think about looking toward the bank uh, a lot of times these fish will pull out of the swifter uh, tougher current, uh, the current with all the debris and everything in it, and they'll move over toward the bank. You gotta remember a lot of fish with the rising water, there's a lot of uh, smaller fish that end up moving further in, uh, you know, up into some of this you know, uh, newly flooded water, and uh, those fish will go in there and feed on them. So don't forget to fish the bank, uh, especially if you got a place that's got a current break. Fish on. We got the Gaston County Police boat rolling by us as we speak. I assume they are up there looking for the missing person. We got four of them turned around looking. <laughs> Hooped up a game. Good fish. Kabam! Smoking them, boys. Smoking them. Yep, that is the police boat. There's the fish, by the way. Little blue. Little leader. Let's get back. Boom. There is the police boat. Checking stuff out. Checking out debris probably looking for that body too the crazy thing is uh, they're actually looking for a body uh, or I should say a missing person just up the river from where I'm at uh, there was a guy found this morning on an island up there uh, apparently some teenagers had went swimming in the floodwaters last night uh, the one guy made it to an island uh, was out there overnight all night and uh, a, a passerby on the highway saw him uh, but apparently there's another person 
uh, that they can't find. Now, I'm not showing the age or anything like that, but uh, they've been searching all day for that person. And it's just upstream from where I'm fishing at. And uh, I hope they find them, but man, these kind of conditions, uh, it, it, it don't look good. Boom, I got one swimming off with a bait. He's way gone. Oh, that's a, there he goes. It's a good fish. I'm gonna have to get to the other side. He made a run, made a run. I like it, he doesn't, coming upstream now. Coming upstream fast, fast. It's good fishing. I, I don't know how much of it's the currents, the location, what. I got a tree coming down through here though. I think it's gonna stay away from me though. As big as, not as big as the strike, but a good fish. Not as big as the bite. He's a, got it. circle hook out of there. Bam. Look at there. Another good fish. Just amazed it's a fish I'm catching. There is one. Look at that. Look, look. Look, 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 look. He's screaming with it. See it? See it? Get that one. Get a picture. Get him in the water. A, guys, this bite is crazy. Right, let's see what this is. Get hooked. Boom. There he is. There he is. Again, this river current makes it uh, a little more fun. Keeping an eye on that tree coming down through there. I want to make sure it stays away from me. He came to the top. Looking like it's going to clear me. Only thing is you got to keep an eye on stuff out here because the way this stuff, the way these currents go and you get a shoal and it causes stuff to go one way or another. I keep an eye on it. Boom, good fish. Look at the pool. Look at the pool. This is fun fishing. Chicken's working. I don't know if it's flooding, muddy water, time of year, what. But if we're kind of spawn time, I think things are winding down on that. I'm getting a lot of females. Mature females. Without the big guts they used to have. Hey, say, hey, say, hey, say. On that leader. Hey, say. Let's not pull it. Let's not pull it. Oh, missed him. Ow. Hey, say. Got it. Another mature female, not huge, but a good looking fish. Where's that tree? That tree's over there. Good looking fish. Yes. Back alive. It's a great bite. Great bite. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing, and here are a couple of more videos that I think you're going to like.